we are trying to just understand even looking at this aspect of work that life cannot be all about work uh, work is just a part of life and so we begin to understand and live in the reality of that so we need to know that and we need to enjoy work in god and also enjoy life in god the second aspect is connecting with people connecting with people that's what we see jesus doing luke 5 27 to 29 it says after this jesus went out and saw a tax collector by the name of levi sitting at his tax booth follow me jesus said to him and levi got up okay levi was his hebrew name and then uh, matthew was the greek name and levi got up he left everything and followed him then levi held a great banquet for jesus at his house and a large crowd of tax collectors and others were eating with them so actually if you see the context of this passage jesus had healed a crippled paralyzed man who was you know you know brought in through the roof by his friends and jesus said your sins are forgiven and they are upset who is this who forgives sins and so jesus says like you know which one is easier for me to do to say that your sins are forgiven or get up take up your mat and walk and so he tells the man take up your mat and walk and so they are amazed and they know that when sins are forgiven dealt with healing comes into the body and that was what was happening in the life of this man okay and there was great joy in that city yeah in that place there's great joy celebration and it says they had never seen anything like this before and after that we would say in our english slang jesus went to chill <laughs> to to levi's house okay he went to have a meal uh with this tax collector to levi's house a tax collector people in those days would say tax collectors and sinners in the same breath but jesus visits this person this person was a cheater exploiter manipulator whatever we can say but jesus goes to this person and towards this person jesus takes initiative he is comfortable absolutely comfortable he enjoys the company and he, and those who try to attack him and accuse him he even defends his conviction also it's not the healthy who need a doctor but it's a sick who need a doctor that's what like uh, he says so i just want to say whether we are introverts or extroverts god has put us in this world to connect to people enjoy life with people okay and many times we need to enjoy life with people who may not be liked by others also that's what we see jesus doing not likable people but doing life with them that's what actually you know luke says that we should there is a story look he says you should use your wealth to make friends are you aware of that story the shrewd manager he was about to be fired again this manager is really shrewd and he gives off you know cancel the debts of people so that you know he would make friends friendships with them okay so that when he loses his job he'll be welcomed into those homes and so jesus is saying use your wealth to gain friends in this world luke 169 i tell you use worldly wealth to gain friends for your for yourself so that when it is gone you will be welcomed into eternal dwellings and so what jesus is saying is that friendships and relationships they are a real treasure worth spending your money for money will come and go but those friendships give joy meaning fulfillment in our lives okay. uh, just this last week i had gone for coffee with one of our uh, church friends and uh, so as soon as we just went to this coffee place uh, there's a boy who was serving us and he said pastor do you do you know me i said so he said pastor i know you and he said i am one of the hindi pastor's son and he was working there we saw it 
and he was just telling me that it's been two months that I've got this job and it's really good and he was excited. So I was really happy to see him there. And so while we were having coffee, uh, after about 15 minutes or so, uh, another person, his friend, comes and brings two cakes for us. This I didn't tell my wife. Like, no? So the cakes. And, uh, and uh, this person says, Sir, your friend has given this cake for you. Okay. I, was, I was meeting him for the first time. Not all. But the joy, I don't know, uh, he's working over there. Uh, and they said, can we take a snap of y'all, both of y'all? And so then he enjoyed that time. And I was thinking, what precious moments. Uh, what a beautiful moment to just think someone you're meeting for the first time and then you feel really blessed and touched in your heart that there is so much love and affection, you know, that people can show. It really uh, blessed my heart. So uh, we need to know that people are the real treasures and we need to invest our lives in them. I also want to say, people bring joy and pain also into our lives. That's the reality of life. People bring joy and pain into our lives. We can't avoid the pain because we are all sinners. And that's why, you know, we know that Jesus took that pain upon the cross so that he gives us grace to persevere in pain through all our relationships. Does it make sense? Because we can't have just joyful moments. There are going to be painful moments. There are going to be moments of rejection that we'll face in our lives. But there is grace in Christ for us. That's what it says in John 1, 11 and 12 about Jesus. He came to that which was his own. But his own did not receive him. Yet to all who did receive him, to those who believed in his name, he gave the right to become children of of God. And so the one who experienced rejection gives us grace in all our relationships. So just turn to your neighbor, just tell your neighbor, chill with your friends. <laughs> I really like Madhur. He went with his friends for the FIFA World Cup. His friends. And, and so we can understand, in a sense, like, there is a depth in friendships, friendship that is there. Okay, it's not all about work and, uh, you know, and, and church. But there is a godliness in those relationships also. It's beautiful. It's good. We're called to connect to people. In doing that, we help people connect to God. We're called to connect to people. In doing that, we help people connect to God.